This video is brought to you by specdtuning.com. On this installation video, we will learn how to install a 2000 to 2005 Toyota Celica projector headlights. Once the hood is open, we'll notice that there's five yellow arrows indicated here. Each yellow arrow points to a clip. We can then remove the clips one by one. Once the shield is lifted off, continue to the right side of the front bumper. We'll see here that there are two additional yellow arrows. Please remove the clips from those two yellow arrows and then we can take off the shield. Below the front bumper, we'll notice that there are red arrows. Red arrows indicate that there are screws. Please remove the screws where the red arrows are pointing to. With just a little tug of the wheel wheel plastic, we can now reach our hand in just enough where we get to the side lens of the bumper. After the bumper lens socket is removed, please unscrew the last screw that connects the fender to the bumper. Now that we're back to the top of the bumper, we will notice that there are four red arrows and one yellow arrow. Please remove the four screws for the red arrows and the one clip for the yellow arrow. In this shot, there are five more red arrows and five screws. Please remove the screws indicated here, starting with the bottom. Since the bottom is a bracket, we can start from the inner to the outer. Once the screws are off, please take off the bracket carefully. Now to the final three screws that are holding down the headlights. We can start from the top to the inner to the outer lower part of the headlights. Please disconnect all headlight harnesses that's attaching the headlights to the vehicle before taking the headlights off. Once the stock headlights are removed, please remove the signal light harness and the driving light harness. We can now plug them into the projector headlights where the turn signals should be and the driving light harness that's sticking out. In this shot, the blue arrow indicates that signal light connector needs to move up a little further. To do this, we must cut the shield holding the wires bundled together, but please be very careful that you do not cut yourself and or the wires. In this shot, we're demonstrating the length, showing that after the wire has been untangled, it can go a lot further. And the last thing that we're going to need is a metal clip where the headlight bracket is. Please remove the metal clip from the stock headlights and place them on your new projector headlights. We can now bring the projector headlights back to the vehicle Plug back all the harnesses and sockets to its original location. And for the second half of the installation, placing back all the screws, starting with the headlight screws, and then the screws for the brackets.
Now that's complete, we can go ahead and replace the bumper, put back the screw that's underneath the wheel well, place back the four screws that are beneath the bumper. Then we can put back all the top screws, put back in the shield for the right side, and finally the shield for the left side. The installation is now complete. Please check all lighting before taking your vehicle out on the road. Thank you. Thank you for choosing SpecD Tuning videos to assist you. Please visit specdtuning.com for more products.